Thank you, Crossfire Sierra Squad, for sponsoring this video, and also for giving me an excuse to rescue my PSVR 2. Oh, I've missed this headset so much. Ooh. This is neither here nor there, but my roommate has been holding my PS5 hostage in the living room for the past five months now, and since this is a sponsored video, I got to pull the this is for work card and bring it back into my room. Ooh, that's so crisp. Man, this is gonna be an ad for PSVR 2 more than it's gonna be an ad for Crossfire. So there is a link below this video if you're interested in getting this game, because I recognize it's essentially the next big release of a VR shooter, and it's the first one to come out post PSVR 2 era, and it really shows. Oh, wow. They got a lot of stuff here. They got a lot of good looking stuff here. Uh, I'll take the A1. Thank you. For starters, this game looks crisp. Oh man. I can see the texture on the duct tape on my hands. God, this looks good. Everything from the horizon to the gun in your hand looks extremely put together in this game. And because of that, I spent a lot of time doing absolutely nothing but staring at objects on the title screen. Is this an intervention? Oh, there's only one proper way to shoot this thing. Ah! <laughs> Missed. Oh, that's automatic. Okay. Even better. We'll get it eventually. Come on. In fact, if we want to be accurate, I spent 11 minutes and 48 seconds on the title screen. This is the chillest group of NPCs I have ever met. They trust me implicitly. <laughs> but eventually, I started playing the actual game. And funny enough, it's another co-op PvE game. Come on out! Deal is off! I am not selling! Just go away! James, get him out. Roger that. Am I James or is he James? He's definitely James. I've kind of been on a PvE kick recently. I think because it's a lot easier to feel tactical when the enemy team isn't full of middle schoolers named Braxton who just sprint with the full ferocity of their entire soul directly onto your position with no sense of self-preservation. Hello. <laughs> yes. I put a toaster on my face for a reason, and that reason is immersion. Yeah, that's nice. Because the story is good. And when I say the story, I don't mean like the story. To be quite honest with you, I have no idea what's going on in this game's story. It's a blacklist combat drone. Hex -hex -hex DK 101. Hey, I know you're you're really interested in this drone thing, but we're actively being shot at. Looks brand new. Recently released. Dude, come on. That's there's no need for that. <laughs> what was the purpose of that? What did that accomplish? We could use those at the very least. I mean like the story mode, because the levels are all very intentional, very well designed, very cinematic. Why did you run? Should I tell you why? Chief, let's just shoot him. Oh my god. And the second mission in this game, the sniper mission, is hands down some of the best sniper gameplay I've ever experienced in VR. Too far out. We need to use a sniper rifle. Well, we're in luck. For a lot of reasons. One, the trigger can actually be pulled in this game. When there's nothing in your hand, it's just a full trigger pull. Like, there's no resistance at all, right? But when you have a gun in your hand, there's a trigger. Like, I'm hitting something. That's me hitting the, the resistance, and then you can pull it. And it pulls the trigger. That feels so good. This is something that is completely unique to the PSVR 2 controller, and it makes snipers and shotguns both feel incredible. Good night. On top of that, they slow down time and steady the scope for you after you've steadied it yourself for a bit. Oh. Oh, that was nice. Oh, here we go. Come on. Oh, yeah. Them slowing down time is really convenient. So you can feel like you're steadying it while actually steadying it and not jittering all over the place. Oh, it's like butter. Come on, do it again. Slow down time, slow down time. Slow down time. Oh. I wish this could just be how snipers worked in VR, like across the board, but I realize it will probably never be possible to slow time in PvP, unless headsets inject some sort of serum into your brain that makes you process time like a hummingbird. And thirdly, when you shoot in this game, it recoils your vision too. So each individual shot has so much oomph to it. <laughs> oh my god. Jeez. The way they shake your, your head is uh, is nice. I, I do appreciate that very much. 
Yeah, that's cool. They should do that in more VR games, really. It was great. In fact, I was doing so well that the game tried to slow me down. Change the difficulty to optimal difficulty. You can change the setting anytime. Wait, what? Oh, it thinks, uh, no, hang on, no, no, we don't need, no. Speaking of difficulty though, the game mode that I thought I was going to like the most was the squad missions, because they play like a story mission, but co-op, just like classic Spec Ops did it. Hello, where have you been? Plus you get to build your own class with money you earn from the story. Oh yeah, yeah, we gotta get the, uh, I'm gonna make this look as close to an A1 as possible, so we're gonna get a little muzzle flash hider thingy. So I had a lot of fun with that, until I had an incredibly stupid idea. I mean, I gotta try, right? I at least have to try. I could probably do it. I could probably do it. I would love the opportunity to show the devs of this game footage of me beating a difficulty labeled devs couldn't clear, because I know the devs are watching this right now. Hello. <laughs> what was that guy's plan? We're off to a great start. If this is what the devs couldn't clear. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Oh, I see. I just gotta take it slow. Take it one corner at a time. Oh, does their health recharge? Oh, my aim is getting worse, too. Wait, who's that? Raul? How long have you been here? Help me. But there is no feasible way I could ever beat this difficulty without making it the sole focus of this video. Raul, you are not helping at all on this difficulty, my guy. <laughs> Do better. If someone wants to post video proof of them beating it on the subreddit, I would love to see that because this is, by all meaningful metrics, way too much work. I feel like I could do this eventually. I just don't, I don't have the time. It's not that I'm not good enough. I just don't have the time. Okay. I, I maintain my statement. I stand by my statement. I and then I had another stupid idea on the loading screen after losing on the devs only difficulty. Horde mode ends on the 50th wave. You can't just drop that in a loading screen. So that day turned out to be a double feature of stupidity. God Cannon, Lethal Weasel VR, Miles Dyer, that would be dark. Time 14 minutes. The high score is wave 19. Hold on. 19, but it goes to 50. Well, who, I could be, I could be at the top of this leaderboard. And as hard as the devs couldn't clear difficulty was, it was nothing compared to horde mode. Oh, is it starting? It's starting. It's starting. Oh my god. That was so fast. <laughs> Challenge completed. Round one. No, 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 stop. Please don't put that on the leaderboard. Please do not put that on the leaderboard. I'm number 11. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. This was by far, and I mean by like miles, the most challenging mode in the game. It made everything else look like arcade mode. Do I have it on devs only difficulty? There's not even a difficulty for horde mode. I really just wanted some sort of accomplishment to bring to you today, be it devs only victory or horde mode round 50, but neither of these things are happening probably ever. Wave two, wave two. Okay, here we go. I'm using this. No, you can't come up here. Stop, 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 stop. Ah! <laughs> even if I get past round five, I'll be in the top five. I'm doing this. No, 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 no. <laughs> we can stay here. I'm cool with that. Perfect. I've, I've healed up. I'm going to maneuver this around this way. Oh my god. Round five, right? Round five. Just got to make it through this. Easy. Easy. Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? Ah, no. Oh, is that wave six? Is that wave six? Yes! I'm number two! I will sleep easy looking at that leaderboard. If I wake up tomorrow and see X underscore Happy Stinks underscore X at number one on round 50, I will not care. I was on a leaderboard at one point, and none of you can take that from me. Second place in the world behind these four goobers who did it as a team. Yeah, okay. That's cool. I'm glad you and three buddies could get to round 19. Round eight by myself. How about that? Number two in the world until this video comes out. And with that, my humble achievement, I bid you farewell because I might be underwater tomorrow. RPG.
Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> so thank you again, Crossfire, for your sponsorship. And thank you, random internet stranger, for the privilege of your time. Man, I love how I got the dual mags here. And my guy refuses to ever use the second magazine. It's especially during moments like this where I just do not understand what is happening. And I could not be physically more grateful if I tried. Yes. But I will try. Thank you, everyone. And if I still have power, then I will see you again in horde mode, co-op stream. We get on the leaderboard together. I open it to chat. I will buy another copy of this game on Steam just so I can show that the stream wouldn't be sponsored. It's not sponsored. They didn't ask for a stream. I just want to do this. So, anyways, hopefully I'm live today. Goodbye. Raul, save me. Raul, please. Please, Raul, just do this for me. This is absurd. Uh, oh, I just shot Raul in the head. All right, maybe I should just stop.